Hi, this is Katie. I don't know why my face looks so red in this camera because it does not look like that in person, but just wanted to let you guys know that I'm finally actually leaving Bozeman. I know that I've said that once or twice and I didn't actually go, but I am leaving like right now, like literally right now. I just went into a gas station to get some of these because I don't think that I can really get them where I'm going. So I just wanted some Tim's jalapeno chips and wanted a cold bottle of water. These are my favorite water bottles, which I know like buying plastic water bottles is not the best thing to do, but these are my favorite ones with the pop tops. I love them so much. So I have one of these. Maybe I'll see if they have a reusable one with the same exact pop top. But anyway, got one of these, got a cold water. I love cold water. I'm one of those people. Some people like room temperature water with no ice and I'm like, no, I want cold water, all the ice, all the cold, all the ice, and all the cold. And so, finally leaving Bozeman, Montana. So for the next week or two, I'm just gonna be on the road and I'm going to be heading east-ish. Maybe like a little south, maybe a little east. And since I'm gonna be like on the road the next few weeks, I'm not gonna be driving a lot each day. So most days I might be driving three or four hours. There might even be a couple days where I don't drive at all. So maybe I will go to some cities or some places and stay there for a day or two. I'm not 100% sure yet, because you guys know that I do not plan too much. But my idea for today, gonna leave Bozeman. It is 12.30 almost. And the only real progress that I wanna make today is to head to Billings. You guys will obviously know more details when I'm, when I'm on the road and when I'm going and when I figure out more things i'll obviously tell you guys cool 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 i'll see you guys in a little bit hey guys it is actually two days later i got to billings like that afternoon after I talked to you guys and I didn't do anything <laughs> and then yesterday I didn't do anything either and so I didn't record anything because I literally did not do anything besides work a little bit and then just like chill out and like watch Netflix like I really just didn't do much and so I didn't record but then this morning I got out of bed at about 8 30 or so and then I drove over to AutoZone because the maintenance light was on in my car and I always thought that that meant that I needed my oil changed. Like that's always the light that came on when I needed my oil changed and I thought that that was the only thing it could have ever meant, like specifically oil light. But I don't need my oil changed for another like two or 3,000 miles. Like I just got my oil changed and I haven't driven that much and so I'm like, Mm, it doesn't really make sense and so I was like I wonder if it means something else or if the person just didn't reset it right and so I drove to AutoZone because they'll like check things like that for you and the guy there was like no that means your oil needs to be changed I'm like but I know it doesn't because I just got it changed and he's like oh then it just means that they didn't reset it so I'm still glad that I went just in case because I don't know like every single thing about cars you know and it's one of those things like if any light comes on and you're on the road just go get it checked out just in case just in case I was pretty sure that it meant my oil changed and so I was pretty sure that it probably meant that the people didn't reset it correctly but I'm not gonna take a chance because I'm gonna be driving today for five hours and most of those five hours are gonna be like kind of not near a lot of things and so I don't like to chance things when it comes to taking care of my car so I got that done and then I went to Walmart to get well, I got an avocado and then I also got this green juice by Suja you guys know I can't really have like vegetables like I can have some but not a lot but if they're juiced I can have them a little bit easier because it's a digestive issue and so I decided to get one of these this morning and yeah I'm going to be driving driving to Rapid City, yes, <laughs> Rapid City, South Dakota. It's uh, about five hours from Billings and that's where I'm gonna go today. They have a lot of gluten-free restaurants so I'm probably gonna go out to dinner because it's 9.30 now so I'll probably get there like early mid afternoon and they have a lot of well not gluten-free restaurants but restaurants that have gluten-free options at least and so I'll probably go to one of those and uh, hang out in Rapid City for the night. I might go to Mount Rushmore today. I might go tomorrow. I might not go at all, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna while I'm down there because that's pretty close. So yeah, let's drive to South Dakota. So I got that green juice, hoping that even though I can't really have a lot of vegetables, hoping that since it's juiced, that uh, it would be easier for my body to digest. Nope, <laughs> not feeling good. There's every once in a while, you guys know my diet's really weird. I have a gluten allergy and I'm allergic to oats and then my digestive system is just, uh, it just does not work like everyone else's. And so I can't really have fruit. I can have some vegetables, but there's also things that 
a year ago might make me feel sick, but then if I had it today, I would be okay, and vice versa. And so there are certain things like green juices that I'm like, yeah, let me see if I can try that and see if it'll make me sick or not. I would never do that with gluten or oats because I know that I cannot have those, but with other things that are more a digestive issue, sometimes I just try them and see because your body changes. And what you eat with that thing could also change how your body reacts to it and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I had the green juice and uh, my body was like, nope, absolutely not. So now when I feel sick, it either gets like digestive-y, like sick, or how I'm feeling right now, it, it's almost comparable to like motion sick. Like I get like brain foggy and like my head kind of hurts. I get like a little nauseated. So this is just because my body didn't digest something right. Like I can just tell because I've had this for years. Like this is what happens when I eat something that my body's like, mm, no, I didn't really want that. And then, yeah, so then I just kind of like, my body kind of shuts down a little bit. And it just sucks because there are not many foods that are like universal, that like never make me sick. And so it, it does get like frustrating and like really hard sometimes. I don't even know if any of that made sense because like I said, I'm a little brain foggy right now, but I have been dealing with this for years and I've gone on so many different types of diets and cut out different things and added different things and to have taken different probiotics and gone paleo and I've done all these things and nothing has actually helped yet. There are certain things that rarely make me feel sick, but a lot of things are super hit and miss or super on and off or depending on when I eat them or what I eat them with. And so it's just kind of like, it gets, it like really bums me out. So I know that some of you guys know what I mean. If you have like issues with, with food and stuff because my body just can't digest things like everyone else's can. And so a lot of people have tried to give me suggestions, which is super nice, but like everyone's body is so different. And so what worked for you might not work for me and what works for me might not work for you. Like some people almost, not like make fun of me, but say like, oh, you don't eat very healthy. And I'm like, well, my body is so like messed up in terms of digesting food that I feel fine if I eat chips and queso, but then I try to have a green juice and it makes me sick. You know, like our bodies are all just so different. That train is real loud. Where is it? Oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> but yeah, our bodies are just so different that like, I know that you guys are being nice if you try to suggest things, but even if we have the same exact diagnosis or same exact food we can't eat, it still doesn't mean that like, what works for you work for me. And so it's just frustrating because it's just such trial and error. And it's been like this for, a really long time but uh yeah so <sighs> i'm gonna just like sit for a minute i have my bible study in a few minutes i do a women's bible study that i run over on katie bible study that's the instagram name i'm gonna change it one day i just haven't yet but yeah so i'm gonna do that right now chill out for a little bit and then hit the road you give me life you give me happiness you bring me warmth I don't want to look away or close my eyes I'll stare until I'm blind Fill me up, up with your light Till like night This road is really fun right here It's like as you can see It's bumpy But it's like fun bumpy I don't really know how to explain it <laughs> It's kind of fun on this road Just for like those few seconds That had those bumps I don't know It was fun okay, bye. I don't want to be afraid I'll swim in the afterglow Lift me up till I explode Till I explode I want her I need her And I love her Gleaming light on my face She holds me Controls me She's got me Bathing in her embrace I just got into North Dakota. It's 4.30. Cause I ended up eating and doing my Bible study and stuff. So I didn't leave as early as I wanted, but it's 4.30. I'm about an hour away. Then I'm gonna hang out there for the night and then probably go to Mount Rushmore in the morning. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I do uh, tonight when I get there. <sighs> so right after I recorded that last little bit, I found something in the car that I wanted to throw out. And so I got out of my car and just fell. 
just straight up fell on like, you know that there's those, it's not like a curb curb, but it's like those little curb things that make sure that you don't drive too far. You know what I mean? You know those things? I just tripped on it. I don't know how. Don't know what happened. Also, there's a fly in my car that will not leave and it's been really bothering me. But anyway, so let me show you guys what I did. I already kind of have been taking care of them. So I fell. Uh, this knee only got like a little scrape. This foot, maybe I'll show you tomorrow when I change the bandages. This foot is all scraped up and like my foot kind of hurts. Like I can't like bend my toes as much just cause like my foot hurts. And then this knee, huh. So I found a bandage big enough for this cut uh, but I'm looking for one big enough for this part of it as well. I mean, that's a lot of Neosporin or it's like fake Neosporin. I have like antibacterial cream on it, antibiotic cream. And so, uh, yeah, so now I'm just looking. I have like a, a thing of this that I just made this first aid kit that I just kind of like, what is this? This is like melted wax. Where would that have even come from? Anyway, um, my mom has a Volkswagen and she didn't need the first aid kit that came with it. And so she just gave it to me. But I have also just like throughout the years added other things in here. And so I have things like Neosporin and I have Zyrtec and I have like regular band-aids because I feel like the ones that come with these things aren't as good. So I got more and I have that really came in handy I have these like alcohol pad wipes and so that's what I did first I, I put the well first I hold on I'll show you my face hold on so okay first I uh, poured water all over it and then I took the alcohol pads and I was like wiping them and then I put the antibiotic cream on it so I'm just looking for one more band-aid big enough if I don't have it I have gauze so like it's not a big deal I don't know if I have a big enough band-aid because first of all when do you ever think you're gonna need giant band-aids so it's not like you always have like 20 so yeah I just wanted to update you guys that I fell don't even I literally don't know how just tripped but it's really important to have a first aid kit I would say the most important things to have are some sort of you guys this fly hold on Hey, Flack, can you go out the window, please? Please, go out that window. Oh my gosh, it like wants to stay in here. I think it left, I think it left, I think it left. That was very close to my face and I apologize, but I think it finally got out. There were two, I got one out. Well, there were three. Got the first one out and then I, doesn't matter. There's a lot of flies here, I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, I think the most important things to have in a first aid kit are some sort of Neosporin. I have two of them. Well, I have three, but two of them are exactly the same. So I think I just like didn't know I had the other one when I rebought it. I have like a maximum strength antibiotic and pain relief. And then I also have a pain itch and scar. And so I've used this when like I've burned myself. I'll use the pain itch and scar one. I think it's really important to have one of those and al the alcohol pads. I can't even remember. I think I just got them at Target. They came in like a box of like a hundred. I also use these when I buy new earrings to clean the earring backs. But then also if I cut myself, I have these and band-aids. I think for me at least, those are like the top three things to have. I have a bunch of other things in here as well, but those are the things that I probably use the most. I have gauze and stuff. I have a cold compress, like an instant one. I have medical scissors. I don't know why. These are also just some things that came in here. I have gloves. Because again, there's things that came in here and then I've just kind of added to it. And so like, it came with gauze. So if I need to, I can just put gauze on it and put some tape on it. I also have this so I can like wrap it around if I needed to. I have an emergency blanket, stuff like that. It's just a necessity, just have it because you never know when you're gonna accidentally trip at a gas station in South Dakota and completely cut up both of your knees and your foot. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Like I almost started crying and then uh, I called someone but he didn't answer so I called my mom and then talked to my mom for a little bit because I'm like mom can you just talk to me because I want to cry and uh, I mean I'll be fine but ah, it really stings. You know like when you just like skin your knee but it just really stings. So yeah, so that's the super fun, eventful thing that just happened. I only have an hour drive left to Rapid City, so I'm gonna go drive. And then I'm not 100% sure I am gonna go out to dinner. I was thinking about it, but now I don't know if I, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to anymore. Like I love going out to eat and trying new restaurants, even if I'm by myself. But also sometimes, you know, I'm not in the mood. So I might just go to a grocery store and get cold cuts or something. I'm not sure yet, but I will let you guys know and I'll let you guys know when I get there. And uh, if I do anything tonight, especially now that I just hurt my knee, 
and I hurt it in a way, I'm sure you guys know when you fall and you hurt your knee, like it hurts to walk a little bit. So I honestly might not do anything tonight, but if it feels okay by the time I get there, I might walk around downtown or something, I'm not sure. Hopefully it's okay enough by tomorrow that I can go to Mount Rushmore and walk around. Yeah, cool. Great. I really like, I'm someone who's like, I would not say I'm super accident prone, but I'd say that I, in the past few years, I've sprained my right ankle. So like the foot that I hurt, I've sprained that ankle a few times over the last few years. I have fallen and hurt this right knee. It's always on my right side for some reason. I have fallen and hurt this right knee. I fell, oh, uh, let's see, like two years ago and then like last year. So it's almost like, almost yearly, so. I just, I literally just tripped. I don't, I don't know what happened. Anyway, I'm gonna get back on the road and uh, I will, I'll talk to you guys tonight or uh, if I don't do anything tonight and I just end up chilling out, maybe I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I found another big band-aid. Wow, this shadow might be the best one yet. I found, oh, this one is even bigger than the one I put on this one. I found like four or five of these big band-aids. They were just hiding in there. I feel like they need to make like, or I mean they probably do, but I feel like I need to get like specific tip of finger band-aids and knee band-aids. Cause I feel like that's when I always cut myself. Like I cut myself on my razor the other day. I don't know if you can see this just sliced like all the way down. So when I had a band-aid on, I'm like, they don't stay. I need like the specific finger ones and knee ones because this one, like I'm not gonna be able to bend my knee a lot. Oh goodness, ah, okay, everything's great, okay. Okay, I'm totally fine. Everything's great. Okay, I'm gonna go drive. Hey guys, how's that weird angle behind my steering wheel? I got to Rapid City, South Dakota, and I did not want to go out to dinner. I just don't feel like it. I usually always want to go out to dinner, but I'm just like not in the mood today. And so I went to Walmart and got some of these Paninos. It's hard salami wrapped mozzarella. And at Walmart, these are $5. At any other grocery store, they're either like seven or eight. So Walmart, they're crazy cheaper. And then I also got Wisps, Asiago and Pepper Jack cheese crisps. So these are just made out of cheese and spices and stuff. And so it's like a good alternative to chips, like just regular chips. And then I stocked up on my bumblebee tuna salad because you guys know I love these and they have been hard for me to find. So I just bought a few of those and they're only a dollar at Walmart. Went out other places, they might be like $1.50. And then I got more of these snacks, garlic stuffed olives. And so, oh, and I also got a jug of water and LaCroix Pomplemousse, the best one, the best one. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna really quickly show you like the sky because it's gorgeous. But someone just parked right next to me, so I'm gonna wait until they situate and then I'm gonna show you outside because it's gorgeous. Look how pretty the sky is. Hey guys, it's the next morning. Do I have food in my teeth? <laughs> I was just eating some of these pretzel chips crisps in the everything flavor. They literally say like crunchy everything bagels and I really, really like them. So I didn't know if I had seeds in my teeth. But anyway, uh, it is Tuesday morning and you guys know I post Tuesday, Friday, Sundays. And so I spent the morning editing a video. It's uploading right now. I'm just hotspotting from my phone to my computer. That's how I'm uploading it in the car. I didn't really feel like going to a library or a coffee shop or anything. So I just worked in my car with my handy dandy steering wheel desk that I love that is always linked in my Amazon recommended in the description. A lot of products that I mention are in that Amazon recommended. It is an affiliate link, but that's where you can purchase them and they're all like listed easily there. If you're just interested in products that I like or use or suggest or recommend. But anyway, so uploading this video and then I'm going to go to Planet Fitness and shower and then I'm going to drive down to Mount Rushmore. Oh, and an update on my injury. If you're curious, I haven't taken the bandages off yet because I'm just going to do that when I shower so that I can like clean them out again in the shower and then reapply everything. But I thought that I was going to be limping today and I thought they were going to be more sore, but they're not. So that's good, I guess. Like my foot doesn't really feel swollen or anything anymore. My ankle's fine and my knee... No, doesn't really hurt. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more sore. I feel like every time I've skinned my knee, it's made me limp for a few days, but this time I don't know what happened, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. 
We'll see what happens later when I walk around a little bit more, but I just walked around Target for a minute because I needed a new SD card. And uh, I think I'm doing all right, so that's good. All right, yeah, talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, washed my hair. I'm wearing a crop top with a cow on it and all the cuts of meat on it. And uh, I am going to like redress up my leg. So just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like. Uh, see, it has like two different cuts. There's this one on the top and then this one on the side. And then my foot, hold on, I'll pick you up and show you my foot. My foot looks like this all the scratchies right there and then this other knee is basically fine so like I probably won't even do anything to it there's just like a little cut on that one but this one like if I straighten it this one still hurts but it honestly like it does not hurt as nearly as badly as I thought it was going to on the second day so I'm definitely gonna bandage this one up and I'm gonna bandage this up as well like they're not bleeding but this one's basically just a really deep scratch, but I still want to have it covered for another day or two till it heals more. But I just wanted to show you how gross I was from falling yesterday. And so I'm just gonna do, uh, stay, stay please, stay, stay. Okay, I'm just gonna do uh, kind of what I did yesterday. Sorry. Okay, so there's somebody there, so I shut my door. But I'm just going to put that Neosporin back on it, or like the fake one. It's the up and up brand. Oh, there's a fly in here again. There was a fly in my car yesterday when I was doing this. There's a fly in my car right now. Excuse me. Can you leave? Can you leave? Can you, can you leave? Okay, I think he's out. I think he's out. I think he's out. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna put the up and up brand maximum strength antibiotic cream and pain relief. And I did wash my hands, but then I just put like some creams and stuff on it so I don't want to use my fingers to put this on so I'm just gonna get a tissue use like a, a q-tip or anything obviously wow is this exciting content <sighs> okay put some of that on and then I'm just gonna put some bandages on and then we're gonna go drive and I think what I want to do today is go to Mount Rushmore for a little bit hang out with you guys there and then go like downtown like I've never really been where am I again Rapid City I've never really been here before I've definitely driven through because I've been to Mount Rushmore before and this is kind of like the main way that you would go if you did that and like I like I know that I went this way but I don't think that I really stopped here and so what I've seen and stuff and like the people I've encountered it seemed really nice but I kind of want to like go downtown or find some like populated ish area and go walk around a little bit I don't want to look away or close my eyes I'll stare until I'm blind fill me up up with your light till like night I don't want to be afraid I'm letting go I'll swim in the afterglow So that was the beauty that is Mount Rushmore. And uh, now we are going to go downtown Rapid City. My little ball of light, wake me up and give me life. You shine from up so high, lift me up into the sky.
it's about to rain so I didn't want to like park and walk around I just wasn't in the mood so I just showed you a little bit of footage um, from like the drive from the car this is like a really 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 cute downtown this is a really cute downtown. I really like it. But I think that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit in Rapid City, uh, hanging out with me a little bit at Mount Rushmore, and also like taking care of my knee because I fell like an eight-year-old. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram for more daily updates. And stay tuned for future videos. That's going to be it. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.